Holy crap. <laughs> As you guys can tell, it's an absolutely beautiful morning here in Yellowstone. Just got into Lamar Valley about an hour ago, and it is 8 degrees out, 20 mile an hour winds, and <laughs> the weather said it was going to be bitterly cold. I feel like I've done a decent amount of winter camping. I feel like I've been in the cold a lot, but this might be the coldest weather I've ever been in. And I'm headed into Yellowstone in two days, and that's gonna be negative 35 degrees in the morning. And I'm gonna to try to be up for sunrise and go to the geysers. So I guess this is kind of my introduction to cold and windy. And man, it's gonna be a long, long three days here for sure. I haven't really seen too much wildlife other than bison. I saw those on my way in. Might go back and shoot those and just kind of drive around and keep my fingers crossed for some wolves, some elk some coyotes. I've got today, all day tomorrow, and then I head over to Mammoth Hot Springs and then finish the trip off in Yellowstone and then might come back to Lamar Valley after that. Just gonna stay patient, keep driving around. 
And the landscape in this area looks beautiful of what I can see. The sun is starting to peek through, so hopefully when I'm done talking here, some music starts and cut to some awesome landscape and wildlife shots. And if not, I guess it'll cut to me sad and cold somewhere in the woods trying to cook up dinner, but let's hope, let's hope conditions clear up a bit. I've been shooting roughly for the past hour and this is honestly the most I've enjoyed filming and photography in a very, very long time. I feel like a complete novice at this. I have no idea how to use this lens. First time using this tripod setup, but this has just been an extremely relaxing last hour. I've been taking photos roughly for the past five, six years and this is really the first time I've come out with the dedicated and, and sole objective of shooting wildlife and I'm already already starting to love this. Also sounds like some coyotes in the distance too. Man, this is incredible. It's my first time really to Wyoming in general. I've done the Grand Tetons obviously, but outside of that I really have not explored Wyoming that much and I can see why people come here just to shoot wildlife. This has been an awesome, awesome first day doing this.
Gonna take a quick break from Yellowstone to give a huge thanks to the sponsor of this video, Epidemic Sound. I've been using Epidemic Sound as a resource to find music for the past few years now. Music can completely transform your footage, setting different scenes and moods. And for me personally, curating music is an incredibly important part of the filmmaking process. All of their music on their website is able to be monetized across YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, or any other social media platforms, which means you don't have to worry about getting copyright strikes on any of your videos, which is a huge relief. Not only does Epidemic Sound have an incredible library of music, but they also have sound effects. Adding a layer of sound effects to your videos is an incredibly easy way to make your work feel much more professional. Epidemic Sound has a library of over 90,000 sound effects, from practical effects such as rain falling or footsteps, all the way to more atmospheric sound effects such as drones, whooshes, and impacts. Even with their seemingly endless library of sound effects, they make it extremely easy to find exactly what you're looking for. You're able to type in keywords that you're looking for and then use filters to narrow down those choices to find the perfect sound for your video. If you guys are interested in checking out Epidemic Sound, make sure to click the link down below in the description. So big thanks again to Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. I spent the majority of the morning outside of the park capturing some drone footage before making my way back into Lamar Valley. On the drive back in, I came across what ended up being one of my favorite experiences of my entire time in Yellowstone, a 2,000 pound male bison walking right down the middle of the road. I parked the Jeep, grabbed the two to 600 lens and got some of my favorite images from the trip. Finally found something other than bison. 
I was driving down the road here and spotted a coyote walking down the river and now he's held up in these bushes taking a nap. His eyes are closing on and off and I'm just sitting here for probably the last 30 minutes just watching. Absolutely beautiful out right now. I'm having so much fun with this. It's very relaxing. I'm just sitting in one spot watching this guy. Nobody else out here. This is why I love winter so much. If this was summertime, there'd be cars lined up right now. Cameras everywhere. And this has pretty much been me for the past 30 minutes just sitting here watching this coyote sleep. <laughs> This is honestly so much fun. A part of photography I really haven't explored too much and I'm having an absolute blast right now. It's definitely a lot harder than I thought to do photo and video with wildlife just because everything happens in such a split second. This guy was walking around when I first pulled up and I did a little video. Wanted to get photo but it's just, it's a 30 second instance and then he's gone. Luckily I drove down the road a little bit and found him hunkered up in these bushes and now I've had a fair share of photo and video, which photography was my first passion, so it's nice to focus a little more on that with wildlife here and hopefully it gets up and moves a bit, but I am absolutely loving this right now. I spent the rest of the afternoon just enjoying the sun, driving around looking for more wildlife when I came across some mountain goats perched way, way high up on this cliffside. I had my binoculars out glassing and somehow spotted them high up on the edge here. Absolutely incredible to see a 300 pound mountain goat perched thousands of feet up in the air. A little grainy of an image, this is at 600 with a two teleconverter and then digitally cropped in. It's, it's difficult to explain how far off in the distance these guys are, but it was really cool to sit there and, and watch them thousands of feet up in the air.
Some of my favorite images and favorite videos that I've captured over the years come from moments that are completely unexpected. One of the reasons I love winter so much and I love going to places with variable weather is that you get these conditions that are absolutely incredible. You get those beautiful light rays, you get those dark clouds, and waiting out the storm, waiting out the wind always, always leads to incredible conditions. Just as I thought my day was over in Lamar Valley, on my way out, some clouds started rolling in and I was treated to an absolutely beautiful sunset to end my day in Yellowstone. It's definitely starting to get a little chilly. <sighs> Trying to get dinner done pretty quick here. Get in the Jeep and get in my sleeping bag. Pretty tough to beat Annie's mac and cheese while camping. Really easy to make and throw a little sausage, mushroom. I cooked some bacon before I hit the road so I pre-cooked that and a little bit of parsley and it makes it a pretty fancy pasta considering it's box mac and cheese. Mm. Finally made it into bed. As you guys can see, I've got reflectives up on the windows. Hoping that helps a little bit with condensation and just help keep the Jeep a little warmer tonight. Tomorrow morning it's gonna to be negative 15. So it's definitely gonna be a cold morning. Got my zero degree bag, the comforter, I'm layered up. I'm not too worried about staying warm tonight or in the morning. I'm just dreading having to get out of my sleeping bag to turn the Jeep on is always tough. Gonna to be heading over to Mammoth Hot Springs in the morning doing that for a bit and then taking the snow coach into Yellowstone in the afternoon. So should be a fun next two days. And the following morning is going to be negative 35 degrees in the park. So I guess tomorrow morning 
is a nice little warm up. So I will see you guys in the morning.
with that, it pretty much wraps up this Yellowstone video. I'll be releasing the part two to this towards the end of the month. Before I let you go though, I do wanna make an announcement on something I'm extremely, extremely excited about. For the first time in almost two years, I'll be doing a limited time sale on prints on my website. I'll be doing a total of 15 to 20 images from Iceland, Alaska, Yellowstone, and just some of my favorite photos from the past few years. The prints will most likely be going live towards the end of February. I have an email sign-up sheet down below in the description for those of you that want to be notified. Signing up will also give you a discount on your first order of a print, as well as enter you in a giveaway that I'll be doing on a bison print from Yellowstone. I'm really excited to be working with a company down in Albuquerque, New Mexico called New Mexico Fine Art. They're going to be helping me out with the acrylic and metal prints. They do absolutely incredible work down there, and I'm so excited for you guys to see them. I'll be doing three giveaways in total. This video will have a 16 by 24 metal print. The next will have a 16 by 24 acrylic print in Yellowstone part two. And finally, I'll be doing a giveaway on my Instagram of a 24 by 36, either metal or acrylic from Iceland or Alaska. Make sure you guys follow along on my Instagram if you wanna be notified about that giveaway. Very excited to be doing prints again and can't wait for you guys to see the images. But I think that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. It is truly, truly appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next one.